Hi, this is a presentation about the Squid Proxy by Christina Plochet, Jared Collison, Ray Lanahan, and Martin Wagner. The Squid Proxy is an open source proxy that allows private browsing and it speeds up a web server by caching repeated requests. It can also aid security by filtering traffic. Installing Squid. I installed Squid for Windows on my virtual machine. And it's uh, not quite as easy as it sounds. There's an official Squid website, since this is an open source uh, product. Um, but the source code has to be compiled, and that was a little complicated. So I found that Dilladel has a pre-compiled version for Windows. So that is what I used. And the first thing that you have to do is set up the server-side configuration. Um, this has you use a proxy server for your local area network. And you type in the, you go to your Windows firewall with advanced security and click uh, inbound rules and create a new rule. You have to set up an inbound rule to use port 3128. It's pretty straightforward. The next thing that um, we're able to do is go ahead and set up the client side configuration. And for this, we have to specify the proxy in your browser and specify the IP address of the computer where Squid is running. So the first thing that you have to do is find your IP address, which for that, um, go to start, um, in, at least in Windows 8.1 that I was using, and start typing in view network connections, select it, select an active network, and then in the toolbar select view status of this connection. You might actually have to select the little chevron um, icon to find this command, select details, and then your PC's IP address appears in the value column next to IPv4 address. So that was really helpful to know how to find that. Next, once you have that information, you go set up your browser. I set up the Chrome browser. Um, so in the local area network settings, you select for the browser to use the proxy server and you specify that IP address that you just found and make sure it's using port 3128. Um, one of the benefits of using a proxy server is that you can set up your own filtering so that sites that aren't using HTTPS are blocked. That's just one example. Um, you can also set up your own rules, rules to filter content so that adult sites can't be accessed on your computer, as another example. Then um, we also set up a whitelist. So you may need to specify that some sites aren't filtered. Um, this is that means that you trust these sites, so the proxy doesn't, uh, you know, filter them. Um, and in your local area at work settings, you set up. Uh, the sites to whitelist in the box that you can see that says do not use the proxy server for the following addresses. And that will make sure that the proxy doesn't block those websites. And there was some additional research also that we did about proxies. So uh, we'll share a little bit of that with you as well. Um, proxy servers are servers that act as a go-between for requests from server users seeking resources from other servers. A user connects to the proxy server and asks for some service like a web page or other services. A proxy server evaluates the information for simplicity and control. Proxies are created to give structure with encapsulation for systems. Most proxies facilitate access to information on the World Wide Web. It provides anonymity and can bypass IP address blocking. And an example is passing unmodified requests for gateways or a tunneling proxy. And um, it also provides security. It can keep the network secret, which supports the security of the network. This makes requests anonymous on the local networks and proxies can be added to firewalls. A few advantages of proxy servers. Um, types of proxy servers, open proxy, reverse proxy, SOCs, and transparent proxy, to name a few. So that's what we have for our presentation, and appreciate you watching.